hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geo boxing empire boxing boxing now man crazy news man crazy news man you know oscar de hoya he's a, a entrepreneur man a mogul and you know would you be shocked if I told you he owns Dream Magazine? He owns the uh, the, the the belt. He, he owns the corporation that uh, that gives the belts out. Dream Magazine's a belt that has no uh, have, they have no mandatories, but they they give belts out. It's celebratory, you know. Uh, he gives them out really to the most popular fighter in a division at the time, um, but within the Ring Magazine, they have their own rankings, right? And it's sort of a big deal now. Now that Anthony Joshua had lost the titles to Andrew Ruiz, he should be number one, right? I mean, he has three of the four titles. And eh, wrong. Tyson Fury is number one now, baby. <laughs> you guys see the picture, man. Tyson Fury is the number one fighter in the Ring Magazine in the, in the Ring Magazine belt thing, and it's mind-boggling. That makes no sense at all. Now, the only how I can see Tyson Fury being the Ring Magazine champion is if. He just beat Klitschko for all three titles, which he did a long, long time ago. But that was, uh, it was an okay win, man. It was a good win for Tyson Fury at the time. T uh, Klitschko was a 10-year champion. Uh, he, uh, he went undefeated for a very, very long time, for 10 years at least, you know, when he was holding those titles. But the fact of the matter is that was a decision win. And it was a, it was a quite a quite a while ago, you know. And people were saying, you know, we don't. We wouldn't have known what would happen in Tyson Fury Klitschko rematch because the Klitschko who showed up to fight Anthony Joshua was a whole other animal from the Klitschko who fought uh, Tyson Fury. Now that being said, man, this Andy Reese fight with, with Reese knocked out uh, Anthony Joshua. People were saying if they rematch again, most people would pick Andy Reese to win this fight again. And I mean, let's be honest. If those odds were the same uh, the first time as they are the second time, like twenty to one and things like that, the Vegas will collapse. Any casino will collapse because so many people will bet so much money on Andy Ruiz. I think Andy Ruiz made it clear, crystal clear, who's going to win this uh, next Anthony Joshua-Andy Ruiz fight, if they, especially at the immediate rematch. I think uh, Anthony Joshua has a chance if they give him time to rebuild himself as a fighter. But if they just rush right in and try to fight him right away, that's just too much too quick, too much too soon, too much to adapt to, too much to look at. It, it'll be... Even the best trainers need time to actually give you to adapt to their whole style in general. That being said, man, you know, Oscar De Hoya, he is losing his his mind, man. He's losing his mind because of this whole Al Heyman thing, man. Al Heyman is is this has all the chips at heavyweight division and he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna acknowledge reality. So he's gonna pit Tyson Fury as number one, which is which is shocking. Tyson Fury should be number three right now at best. Maybe tie for two. Maybe number two. I'll give the guy number two. Number two at best, you know. But, you know, boxing. It's me personally. I got Andy Reid's number one and then Deontay Wire number two because boxing is about what have you done for me lately. And you can't live off one win for your whole career. You know, uh, Tyson Fury, while he fought Deontay Wilder, fought him to a draw, he needs to fight other tough opponents. You know, Deontay Wilder has fought in Luis or King Kong Ortiz. He's fought in... You know, people like um, Dominic Brazil and stopped him in one round where Anthony Joshua did not knock him out in one round. You know, he, he's just been beating guys in better fashion, and he's been doing it at the high level for a pretty long time now, and he's been pretty consistent about it. That being said, man, I think Deontay Wilder has just been fighting the tougher opposition lately, and he should be ranked as higher, you know? But that's just my opinion. Um you know, if Tyson Fury would have held those belts, he could have easily been number one. But the fact that he didn't never defend any of those titles, it's suspect to me, man. You can't be having all those titles but not fight one mandatory at least. You know, Deontay Wire has been hiding the ABC title for years, and he's defended it at least three times. He's been defending that mandatory, which is a really big deal. I, I think, in my opinion, when once you get that title, you have to defend that title at least one time be, to become, like, a legit champion. At least, at least like one time at least one time because you beat the number one contender you can say okay i'm champion now because i beat the number one in the division right now that being said man oscar del hoya man i'm, I'm sort of shocked that he do something like this i'm like come on man you should be happy this is a mexican-american like you 
Why, why aren't you giving Andy Reese his credit, man? Why aren't you pitting him number one as the best in the world? Oscar De La Hoya has some real soul-searching soul searching to do, man. Soul-searching. He needs to find his soul. Probably lost in that cocaine or something. I don't know. Listen, man, I, I'm really I'm really just disgusted and I, at Oscar De La Hoya at this point, man. Salty, man. Salty, 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 salty. Man, I wonder how Andy Reese feels about this, man. I might hit him up on Twitter, you know, hit him up on his uh, comments and be like, yo, what's up with Oscar De La Hoya? What's up with your boy? Got you as number number three? The first Mexican heavyweight champion beat a guy who was 21 wins and 20 knockouts? And you're number three right now? What? And you're Mexican? You, you're supposed to look out for your hombres. For your for your, for your brothers. What's up? Ah, uh, I'm sort of shocked, man. And I'm pretty sure Andy Reid is shocked. I'm pretty sure everyone in the boxing world is going to be shocked. And, uh, yeah. You know, um, when I, ESPN went out there... Uh, Andy Reese, you know, Canelo Alvarez actually defended Andy Reese against Stephen A. Smith and Teddy Atlas and the whole, really, brand of ESPN itself. See, Canelo Alvarez knows what time it is. He knows that Andy Reese is a big deal. But what about Oscar De La Hoya? He seems to be living in the past, man. I know he's running a business, but, you know, you can't... You, you have to be legitimate. You, you have to base the business off reality. And when you have a Ring Magazine title and rankings, they have to make some sense. There's no way uh, Tyson Fury should be number one, man. He should not be number one right now. Andy Reid should be number one, no question asked. Maybe Tyson Fury could be number two, even though I'd have number three. Me, personally, I'd have him number three. It's because he hasn't fought too many tough guys lately. Now, pff, crazy stuff, man. I thought I'd talk about it a little bit, man. Ring Magazine has pushed him to the back for God knows what reason. I need an explanation. I need, <laughs> I need an explanation. I need a quote. I need something done. Someone needs to interview, interview Oscar De La Hoya for me. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Andy Reid's first Mexican heavyweight champion ever, ranked number three in the rankings after unifying and having all three belts and beating Anthony Joshua in one of the biggest upsets since Buster Douglas versus Mike Tyson, man. Shocking things, mind-boggling. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace. Peace.